Good morning, Bird Brains, and welcome to Hey Bird, What's the Word, where we talk about news and events happening in the motorcycle industry. I'm your host, Justin Bird, and if you'd like to stay up to date on all things two wheels, be sure to punch that subscribe button. On today's episode, we're talking about a viral clip involving an R1 nearly missing an ambulance on a racetrack. Let's get into it. So I actually came across this clip organically while scrolling through social media. But before we dive into it, let's take a look at the clip. So when I first saw this, I thought that this happened during a track day, but this actually happened during a race. This incident took place on March 19th, 2023 during a WERA National Challenge race at Roebling Road Raceway in Bloomingdale, Georgia. The rider was identified as novice racer Daniel Alexander aboard his track-built YZF-R1. As you can see in the video, Alexander exits the final turn, accelerates to speeds close to 140 miles per hour before an ambulance wanders across the start-finish straight, causing Alexander to have to make a high-speed evasive maneuver, ultimately causing him to go down. But what the video doesn't show is the incident actually involved another rider. A second rider, Dwayne A. Brown, wasn't as lucky as Alexander and actually made contact with the back of the ambulance. Miraculously, neither Brown nor Alexander reported any major injuries. So let's take a look at exactly how this event came to fruition. Most major raceways have either tunnels or bridges connecting the infield to the exterior of the track, but smaller tracks, such as Roebling Road Raceway, do not. This means to enter or exit the interior of the raceway, vehicles must cross the actual racing surface. According to RoadRacingWorld.com, the designated crossing point at Roebling Road Raceway is right there on the start finish. And most crossings are only done when the track is cold, as in no vehicles are actively racing on the track. But in some rare cases, such as if an ambulance has a patient that is in critical care, race control will allow a hot track crossing. Now this is supposed to only be done if there's a sizable enough gap in race traffic, for example if the pack is all bunched together. This type of crossing is also supposed to be accompanied by warning flags displayed prior to the straightaway. But on this day, something didn't quite go right. WERA had this to say in their press release. On March 19th, in the open superstock race at Roebling Road Raceway, there was an incident on the front straight involving an ambulance and two riders. The ambulance was leaving the track to transport an injured rider from an earlier incident. Due to a miscommunication between the ambulance driver and race officials, the ambulance crossed in front of two motorcycles. Both riders did fall, but walked away from the crash. WERA is investigating what led to this incident and will be instituting any necessary changes to prevent the same thing from happening in the future. It's no secret that motorcycle racing is dangerous. You're literally sitting on top of an apparatus that's causing intentional explosions using a highly flammable liquid to propel your body as fast as possible. All without roll cages, seat belts, or other safety equipment seen in other forms of motorsport but there's still a ton of factors that can be mitigated to make racing as safe as possible. You know, like making sure what's essentially a five ton brick wall from wandering onto the track. I have to give a shout out to the quick reflexes and riding abilities of these two riders. I'm so glad that I'm writing this as a story of two totaled bike as opposed to two lost souls. Hitting something of that size at those speed could have easily killed both riders and even caused injuries to both the driver and passengers within the ambulance itself. Back in the day before electronic track control and elaborate comm systems, it's easy to see how something like this could have happened. But in today's day and age, these types of incidents are absolutely unacceptable. And what's crazy is they're not unique to smaller tracks. Just last year in Formula One, arguably the pinnacle of motorsport, there was an incident where a mobile crane was allowed onto the track in nearly zero visibility. Now granted, this incident did happen under a safety car, but in F1, safety car speeds can be in excess of 100 miles an hour, and deaths have occurred under similar circumstances. I just hope that the WERA, and all other organizations for that matter, take this incident very seriously and make some changes to their policies and procedures. If there's a patient in that ambulance that absolutely needs to go to the hospital, just red flag the damn race. At the end of the day, racing is just a sport. It's a game. While I'm sure there are some deep and intense rivalries between racers on the grid, 
I'd venture to say if they knew there was a fellow racer in the back of that ambulance that needed to get to the hospital ASAP, they would much rather have a restart than even the chance of another rider getting injured or possibly killed. I've been your host, Justin Bird, and that is the word. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't already, go ahead and punch that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.